Hey there, it's Jason with that pet guy, Dog Adventures. Um, I have way too much fun saying that. I'm sorry if it's obnoxious. So today, I uh, we're inside, inside the playroom, and we're going over to the meal prep area and unload everyone's um, goodies that their mom sent for their stay here into their cubbies. So, won't you uh, come along with me here? I have to. Do Those who don't know me, I am I'm almost six foot four, so I'm constantly ducking everywhere I go. So let's see here, what do we have here? Okay, we have some medicine that requires refrigeration. Let's see, we already got some food prepped for everyone. Actually, we'll go ahead and put this here. And it also has some yogurt for his tummy. So let's put that in there. What else do we have here? We have some watermelon and I'm gonna go ahead slide that right in there. Uh, ooh, pico de gallo. His mom actually sent that to me. So, <laughs> uh, more medicine which does not require refrigeration. So, let's see if I can find, there we go. Find his little tub, so we'll put that in there. Give him a few cans of his food. Stick in there and more instructions. Slide that in his. What else do we have here? Okay, so here's an opened can. We'll use that first. So let's put it in here with his other stuff. More medicine. And please ignore the floor here. It is almost impossible with as much cleaning and sanitizing that we have to do to keep any kind of uh, paint on the floors. And we've tried tile in some areas and it just eats out the mortar. So, okay, what is this? Okay, Let's get that in there. Uh, treats, treats. So we found that our dogs with pancreatitis like, well, they can have marshmallows and they like it. So treats for them and food. So we'll get out a couple of cans just to have it. Won't need the bowls. Uh, okay, we have two different types of food. So let's throw those in there. We need a bigger cubby. Okay. So there we go. Let me go ahead and close this. Uh, okay. Set that aside. And all right, here we go. So do we have, we do not have his labeled yet. So he's gonna to have to borrow Mr. Wilbur's until I get him a good one set up. So there's that. He's here for quite a while. There's three large bags of food. Okay, get that there. Move his bag off to the side. Okay, their food is prepped. Okay, her food is Okay, that's her. Okay, we got one more. Mr. Brownie. Actually, let's slide that over. And slide his over. Let's go ahead and put Mr. Brownie's in here. Okay, his scoop is in there. Okay, I'm gonna have to go through this and make sure I get this is all new medicine for Mr. Ollie. He's He's doing okay, but this is all new for him, poor thing. Um, I think that's it. Oh, so bowls. So I like to go ahead and get everyone's bowls lined up. So this cubby is for three dogs. This cubby is for one dog. This cubby is for one dog. And this cubby here is for... I don't know why I call them cubbies. I guess they're technically not. So now their bowls are there. And in fact, what I might do to make it easier for me, well, they get canned food, so I can't open that yet, is go ahead and bear with me here. Go ahead and prep the dinner here. Can't do that one. It is canned food that'll need to be refrigerated. Okay. 
The only time I'm quiet is when I have to use my mouth to open these bags. Oh my goodness. I promise I'll get better with the, the camera. So we'll go ahead. He's pretty active. Give him just a little more. And so those are lined up, ready to go. Um, make sure everybody's medicines here. All right, that's it. So there's a lot more to it than just riding around, playing, having fun. It's, I mean, that's a big part of it, but there is also a very serious part of this job um, in taking care of the pets and making sure they have what they need, make sure they have their food and that it's pre prepared properly, that they get the right food and those with pancreatitis or sensitive stomachs only get the food they're supposed to have and that their medicine regimens are followed. Um, you know, some get medicine as many as three to four times a day. Um, some require, as you saw, refrigeration. Some can be out. Some have special probiotics that need to go on their food. Um, and uh, they all have different needs medically and nutritionally. And uh, we have to make sure that we, uh, we meet all those needs. And uh, I, will, I think I'm rambling at this point. But anyway, we're going to get out of here. Thanks for joining us. And um, once again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. But it really helps us out. So uh, this was one of my longer videos. Uh, so I apologize if it got monotonous. But thanks for checking in with us. And we will see you soon.